So hello, we want to be the AI curmudgeon, at least the personal AI curmudgeon. I, you know, when I think about what AI could be and the promise that we have for home automation, this personal assistance, they're just not there. Uh, I've been disappointed in voice. Uh, I've been disappointed in a lot of my interactions where we were trying to have real artificial intelligence. This is something that reads my calendar and makes recommendations or I interact with a robot to calendar something. It leaves a lot to be desired. And uh, the idea that I have to double check and triple check or type and retype um, makes me pretty frustrated to interact with AIs right now. So we have a long way to go. The promise is there. There is absolutely no doubt that uh, we should be using much deeper computer systems to anticipate, know our behaviors, and and help us interact with technology in ways that are actually, to humans, very, very predictable. Um, so the potential's there. It seems like it should be a solvable problem, but from a personal perspective, it also feels farther off than I would like. At the same time, I think we're using deep learning and machine learning in incredible ways in a corporate setting where you have... Uh, people with deep experience in AI and, and master's and doctorate degrees in these technologies, applying these technologies, mining our personal data. And so when I think about some of the stuff, I'm excited as a technologist and a little scared as a human. Um, not from the robot takeover, but more from not understanding the social implications of where my data is going and where people are learning about my behaviors and applying it to things that I don't have a lot of control over. So... I'm going to be the AI curmudgeon here and think, say, it's coming, but we need to think about what it means. Thanks.